Good morning, OPCC. My name is Chris Walls, and this is my family. Tristan. Luke. Bailey. Grace. Georgia. And Abram. We wanted to share with each of you that uh, we've been at OPCC for about 18 months. Um, we really found this to be a community. Uh, this is like a family for us. We've really, uh, this is more than just something you come to church for. This is something you come to not just be fed the word, but to learn to reach out to others. Uh, one of the things that's really meant the most to me through this is learning about the discipleship process, learning what that really means, learning what scripture says about it, and, uh, and learning how to go out into the community and, and start to do some of this. Uh, it's been very important within uh, all of these guys here. Uh, it's been important for uh, my faith walk personally, and I really appreciate that uh, Pastor Jimmy and, and the whole group here put so much focus there. Um, I've just completed a discipleship group, and Kristen's close. So this, this to us is, is something that we uh, completely support and buy into, and I think that uh, anybody that's wanting to be a part of OPCC and really, really make their mark uh, for the Lord uh, needs to look at, at what those opportunities are and really push themselves outside of their comfort zone. Within that, Kristen's a stay-home mother, uh, so I'm the, the support of the home. And we've decided to push ourselves outside of our normal boundaries uh, and way past what our comfort zone would be in uh, supporting the redevelopment of the outside of the church. Uh, it's something we've prayed about. We support because we just see what's going on so much inside of the building uh, and excited to welcome people here. And once we get people through the door, I think that those that are really seeking and those that are believers really trying to deepen their faith. Uh, we'll see the message that Pastor Jimmy's giving and, and just the community that we've got here. And we'll want to, to, to be a part of something. They'll want to see that it's different than somewhere else they'd go. Part of the problem that we really struggle with though is the outside of our facility is still stuck in the 1960s. So we want the outside of the building to really be a reflection of what's going on on the inside. And we definitely don't want that to be any kind of hindrance to, to God's community. So for us, we've really stretched ourselves um, and we would encourage others to pray about the same thing and, and see where they may be able to be a part of that. Yeah, um, just to echo that, OPCC is a community for us. We left both sides of our families back in Indiana and so OPCC has been a specific blessing by being such a warm and loving community and I, I do there's I actually invited um, my hairdresser to church and she said she literally passes my calf every day she said where is it and I was like oh we need that exterior we need the support so we can get that exterior so people are like oh yeah OPCC that's one of the cool you know mid-century modern look and um, just more welcoming I think um, my heart is specifically, um, I just adore working with kids, so um, uh, the children's wing already being redone and um, is awesome and um, just, yeah, a more welcoming um, exterior I think is just really going to show what is going on inside of OPCC. Yeah. We've really appreciated the uh, family that we've experienced here. Like Kristen said, we don't have anybody here. We've, we've taken a, a leap of faith for ourselves to move uh, you know, 10 plus hours away from anybody that we've known. And uh, the way OPCC and, and the people here have gathered around in, in times, of, frankly for my family, in times of need, as well as that I see them reaching out to others when they're in need. It's just a great feel. It's like a hug, right? It's just a group of people that feel like they're giving each other a hug all the time. and want other people to be able to experience it as well. Yeah, and I think just, you know, to add to that, like you feel the presence of the Lord here, whether it's Sunday morning, it's discipleship group, or when you're just fellowshipping with others from the church, you really, you, you feel the Lord here. You feel the Holy Spirit, Spirit working. Um, 
Pastor Jimmy's, you know, convicting, encouraging, all of that messages, we were, one of the specific things we looked for in a church was um, from the Bible. Some pastors will tell stories and then add in scripture. And um, what we loved, what, what honestly first kept us here was, like, he goes to the word first. Like he goes to the word first. And that was huge for us. And yeah, we hear his, you know, funny, awesome stories sometimes. Absolutely, and that's great. But he is all about the word. That is the foundation. And that's what we really appreciate. Yeah, it's, it's really refreshing to go through an entire uh, chapter or a book of the Bible, depending on the, the week or the, um, the series that we're working through. And to not just go through line by line through uh, the gospel, but within that, using that and Pastor Jimmy actually making that kind of come to life for us, right? Making that a practical application to today. Um, it's, it's really refreshing, it's really encouraging. Um, and as Kristen said, it, it's, we feel the Holy Spirit moving here. We feel what, uh, what God is allowing to have happen here. We just love being a part of it.